Now I'm going to trace the outline of my image so I have a line reference to work from. Before I do this, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the new layer button. See it creates a new layer here. I double click the name and I change this to black and white. Actually, I won't call this outline. That's what I want to call it. Outline. And then I'm going to come over to my paint bucket. Click on the paint bucket. Now down here, I have, um, if your colors aren't black and white, you can click this small little black and white square to set it. And then this bent arrow changes which is on top. So I want to fill with white. So I'm clicking this. So now I have white. I fill the layer with white. I go to the opacity. And I change this down to about 40%. Now I'm going to go to my paintbrush. By the way, these are not the paintbrushes. This is your paintbrush. And I'm going to um, set up my paintbrushes. I click on here. Uh, I'm going to use a hard round. That'll be fine. Click out of that. I want to draw with a black line, so I click this little bent arrow to reverse. So I'm painting with black. Opacity 100%. I'm sorry, opacity 100%. I have my pressure on my pen on. I have my um, size pressure on my pen on, so the line will get a little bit thinner and thicker. And I have my smoothing set to 20%. This will uh, smooth out my lines a little bit. I'm going to zoom in to work. So I'm going to hold down my Control or Command button and hit plus. Hold the space bar down and click and drag with my mouse. Now, in order to see the size of my brush, by the way, I have to turn caps lock off. I had caps lock on for my title there. With caps lock on, you cannot see the size of your brush. So I'm ready to go. And I go ahead and I start tracing. Now, remember, this line will not be kept in the final part of your image. So I can go through here and, for instance, suggest that the hair is sort of frizzy there. I don't have to really get into detail yet. I can trace any sort of lines that will be good as references. So for instance, I can come in here and I can give myself some references for main hair direction and things like this. Whatever references you think would be useful to you, you want to include. And remember, I can hold the space bar down, it turns into a hand, and then I click and drag to move around. So it makes a lot of sense to zoom in and then move around as you need to to add details in. There we go.